Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, we're ill. Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Subnautica. Uh, in the last episode we pretty much left it here, I'm pretty much carrying just playing, so uh, apologies if you've put any messages on the last episode, I won't see them till the next one. There's a warper over there, he's kind of ignoring me though, so I'm going to be alright I think. Unless he just did a little scooty scooch. Yeah, back off you. So here we go. Caution, hazardous materials and life forms contained within. Ooh, cool. Uh, oh, we've got a door. And I hope. Statue reinforced, indicating the designers were seeking either to keep something out. Okay, so that needs a tablet. That's fine. We can make those pretty easily, I think. Hmm. This place is curiouser and curiouser. I'll take it. I don't really know why we're collecting those. We've got hundreds of them, to be honest, but... This looks like it used to be some sort of fish tank. Maybe this is like where the aliens um, studied animals down here, you know? Yeah, look at this. Let's get our scanner out, because there is most definitely... Yeah, going to be stuff down here that we want to scan. Sort of egg are you. Sea dragon egg. The large egg is held in a hermetically sealed environment and has been chemically sterilized without the means at a facility to house full grown sea dragon specimens. It is possible the aliens sought to study the, the uh, instead the egg laying and incubation process to what end is unclear. Ah. Rib cage. Display cage containing an array of rib cages. Nothing of in interest there, I don't think. Uh, Ray specimens. Wow, they were really studying stuff down here, weren't they? Given up predatory in favour of herbivorous scavenging and use poisonous flesh to protect themselves. Yeah, I'd say the rays are all quite nice, actually. Down here. Uh, another ion cube. I'm just going to keep picking them up. Oh, here's a data thing. Damage report. Leviathan detected at facility perimeter, closing in at high speed. Exterior anchor cable impacted with massive force. Um, breaches can detected in containment unit 7, where the eggs were. Immediate specimen. Evacuated staff into off-site. <coughs> oh. Sorry, exposition makes me sneeze. Uh, infected individuals may not leave the planet. Okay, so that's us, I think. I think that's why we're getting people get shot down. It's because everything's infected, isn't it? Ooh, let's go up here and have a look. So this used to be some sort of containment tank. What's this? This doesn't look like a Leviathan. Scarce remains of a vast predator housed within an artificial habitat. Uh, while it shares some skeletal traits with the biter and sand shark, the species has likely gone extinct in the past thousand years, and his evolutionary relatives have evolved almost beyond recognition. Hmm. Okay. Let's check and check. I've learnt now that lights in this game mean stuff, but I think it's just the plants being lit up. Let's check there's nothing in him. How funny would it be if he just jumped and bit me now? <laughs> Right, okay, it doesn't seem like there's much going on here. I think it just wants me to know that these guys were exploring and sort of experimenting on their animal friends. Oh, shit. I thought I completely forgot that we don't have oxygen. Oh, my God. Um, let's get this bad boy out. See if I can remember where the ship is. No. This way. There we go. Hello. Oh, ha, ha. Jaunty, jaunty, jaunty. What are you doing? Well, let's take... Well, this looks like this can go in further, so... Or well, maybe it can only go here. I don't... I bet it won't go in there. We can try. No. So this is as far as we can go with the sea moth. Let's uh, at least remember where that is, though. So we came here. We did that data disc. We did in there the big old fishy. Fishy, fishy. And then we can come... Residual biological evidence suggests 
indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. Oh, okay. So this is... What are these? Looks like a little bit of a warper arm. Oh yeah, it is a warp part. The organic parts and display. Product line says that self-warping constructs were built, maintained and deployed by the aliens that designed the system. Oh, so they're, they're manufactured, the warpers are. Interesting. Fluctuations in plus plus plus. Let me just read first here. The terminal contains extensive data regarding the bacterial contagion identified as Kara. Um, first encountered during routine network expansion of Edwards. This is what we're infected with. Treatment procedure unknown. Okay. Core worlds quarantined. Bacterial samples. Yeah, so this this is a quarantine. Self scan. Let's do a self scan. Self scan complete. Um, infection has spread to the skin and oh, no. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh god, we're ill. I'm gonna take a screenshot of my crazy ass hands, because I can't imagine that's gonna happen. Oh god, we're riddled. Oh my word. Um salvage further alien research data on a possible vaccine. Investigate the mechanisms which have enabled the indigenous ecosystem to inhibit the symptoms of the infection. Yes. So come on, let's let's find a cure. I assume that's what's gonna be going on here. Uh, oh man, so much ripped into this place, hasn't it? How are we doing for Warper? Self warping quarantine enforcer unit. Ah, oh, okay. So it's very genetic modification. Uh, programmable hunter killer avoid. So these have been made to kill stuff with the infection. So that's why they're coming after me because I'm infected. Okay, so maybe if we get cured, these warper dudes will help us out. Are you an egg or something? No, you're just a bit more of warper dude. Right. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I've missed. In here. We now know what the... Uh, what the disease is. Kara, we've got a nasty case of the Karas. Hmm. Okay, let's jump back in here and have a look. Now there is mention on our data disk here. Look uh, of another place, alien data terminal. Is it that one? Um, no, one of these somewhere. Hold on, codes and clues. Is that it? Here we go. Alien facility locations. Right. So, disease research facility, 800 meters, cave system with extensive fossil records, southwest of enforcement platform, uh, live specimen studies, synthesis of antidotes, and highly infectious bacteria. So, I think that's where we are now. Now, that, excuse me, there is also a thermal power facility um, which generates energy for all local facilities. So, that's inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity, which is 1,200 meters down. I. Yeah, I think we're away from that. Yeah, we haven't been there yet. But one thing we do need to do, blah, 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 is um, is try and get out of this place. We need to get a purple tablet back down here so we can get that bit of data because that may well be the thing we need. Um, so I'm going to... Is that another ion cube that I missed? I might as well take it. I don't... Ion cubes make the tablets, which is cool. I don't think there's anything else I'm missing here. Right, it's going to be a bit of a slog, so I'm going to head back, make a tablet, come back, and hopefully it's, um, I can remember where we are, because we're pretty deep here into this, into this area. Right, and then we'll have a little look around the bottom there as well. Okay, I'm going to go and try and get one of these purple tablets. Wish me luck. Okay, heading back. That was a long slog. I think it's around here. Also, okay, has replaced the battery, had to get some more food and drink. Woof, but we have a purple tablet now. They're pretty easy to make. It's an iron cube and a couple of diamond, which we had plenty of, so that's fine. I've only made the one. I hope to God there isn't another door past this first one. Because, uh, no, that would have been too sensible, wouldn't it, to come prepared with a couple of them? Hmm. Uh, let's have a look. Up here. 
Okay, here we go. Whoop, steady, steady. Okay, cool. I'm hoping this, I mean, even if it's just a bit of info, all info is good info at the moment. It's really helping us out. Here we go. Let's stick a little tablet in there. There we go, and we can now uh, get in. Perfect. It literally just is this data terminal. Specimen research data. Uh, let's get back in our thingy so we don't drown while we're reading. But I am going to read that. Okay. Uh, a catalogue of information on the organisms previously came within the facility until a number of entries have been translated. Small herb called Gamma. Uh, entry seems to reference the common peeper. Shows no immunity to infection. Death commonly occurs in four days. Shows symptoms of... Okay, Leviathan embryos. Adult specimen too large to study in containment. Egg specimens acquired from nesting sites. Embryos show no signs of immunity. Death occurs within three weeks. Small sample of eggs have been retained for continued high priority research. Um, large carnivore theta off-site lab established to study remains shows some potential for immunity Ooh. Uh, but physical remains so far provide insufficient for full reconstruction identified leviathan this leviathan species has been assigned a designated sea emperor bone samples from the emperor specimens indicate some potential for cara immunity single specimen captured for study oh a purpose-built containment facility constructed in volcanic region at depth 1.4 kilometers uh, whilst it's unlikely that the Emperor specimen is still contained within the facility described, it may be possible to acquire further data there on the alien's attempts to develop a vaccine. So yeah, it's that's the one, isn't it? It's this. Where is it? 1.2 thermal power facility. Or, or maybe not. 1.4. Yeah. So we need to find a volcanic region that is 1.4. Four kilometers down, which our seamoth won't be able to do because it only goes 900 meters. Poor little seamoth. That's a shame because I really like the seamoth. Uh, okay, let's get back to base. Let's regroup and plan what's going to happen next. Well, looky here, we found a, uh, a wreck that I've not seen before. Shall we see if we can. Oh, that sounded like a warper, but we'll see how we get on. Abandoned PDA. Surveillance log. Oh. I can't imagine it's going to be anything interesting, but we'll have a listen while we're looking around. Keyword, religious, detected, beginning automated recording. I find a tendency amongst Alterans to think not only that you have it best, but that yours is the only way to have it at all. In the Mongolian states, we have the freedom to work for ourselves. Hey, most of us are contractors. Joe owns our own company. Whose ship are you living on right now? Yours or Alteris? Do well to remember whose ship you're on, Mongolian. <laughs> According to my religious beliefs, this ship belongs to us all. We're all part of the same system. The only difference between us is where we choose to draw lines. Wise words for someone from a cowboy corporation fighting over rocks in the far reaches of space. Oh, okay, so that was just a bit of uh, filler. But look, we've got a grappling arm. We've, we've been waiting for that, I think, for our prawn suit. That's going to help us as we move down to wherever this uh, thermal thing is that we've got to try and find. Uh, it's crazy that we kind of just fell on this, to be honest with you. 110, we're still doing okay for, uh, for our breathing. Let's get the door open, then we might have to go and restock. Where's our laser cutter? There it is. Uh, oh, we've got no power, but that's fine. We have. There we go. Yep, good. Okay, cool. Uh, right, so what else did I pick up there? Oh, a quilted bed. Ooh, so what sort of bed have we got now if it's not got a quilt on it? We poor guy's sitting here freezing when he goes for a kip. We'll go and replace our bed with a quilted bed when we get back, folks. Don't panic. I haven't forgot my ridiculous design routes. Uh, let's head in here. Anything good? Nothing. I just genuinely cut through a useless door. I know there's another door here to cut through. Okay. This is most likely just going to be the way out. I guarantee it. We could just swim backwards, but instead we'll spend the time cutting through this door to get out for no reason. But you know what? It's been a while since we've had a good look around the wreck, so happy to uh, happy to have a look. Oh, no, no, no. There's stuff. There's stuff. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's the door we've just blown through. Grappling arm fragments. Oh, this is another data box. That could be something good. Nope, something we've already got. 
mostly just grappling arms and a nutrient bar. Okay. Please tell me we can get out here somewhere. Hey, fishy. Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ. We've got to go back the way we came. Yes, 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 I know. Oh, let's play Where's the Goddamn Sea Moth again. Here it is. That wasn't too bad today, actually. We've had that a lot worse, haven't we? Um, I'll just go and check out that last room. If I find anything great, if not, we'll head back. Well, I fell on something pretty crazy. What the hell are these things? I'm going to go and see if they're not friendly, but not aggressive. Can we... Sea Treader. I've got a feeling these are like bottom feeders. They're not going to hurt me too much. But hell, look at him. Come on. Sea Treaders. Uh, sea Treader herds may unearth mineral deposits as they chalk up the sand. Okay, that's cool. Um, vast bipedal leviathan which roams the reefs in herds grazing on the sea floor. Oh yeah, look at all this. Oh nice. Oh cool. God, we can just follow these guys around and pick up a load of cool stuff. I like it. Lithium. Diamond. Oh, yeah. I'm all over that. They're like uh, the cows of the sea. Well, not cows. What am I trying to think of? I don't know. Something like giraffes. They're the giraffes of the sea. That's it. Long legs as opposed to long uh, necks. Oh, they're pretty gorgeous. All right. Well, this obviously is an area we've not been to before. So let's have a little swim. Let's see what we can find. Are we at the drop-off again? I'm assuming we need to try and find somewhere that's hot. Um, sorry, Fishy. Because at the moment, we haven't found anywhere that's hot. And this is, yeah, that's the that's where the that's where the creepy scaries are. But they're going back there. Pretty sure that's the end of the world. Uh, a few people commented about it. It's called The Void. And there may be stuff down there later on, but I think for now, it is uh, well out of our remit. We found our mobile base. I forgot we got this, to be honest with you. It's searching for shale at the moment. So if there's anything else that's a bit more useful we can look for. Um, Reaper Leviathan. I have no interest in finding more of them. No, not really. Um, Alright, well. Have a look for some eggs, dude. Actually, no, don't. Just we'll leave you. We may well remove this. Uh, and um, Not remove, but remove it again. Uh, down towards that newer area with all the, the Lost River and all that. I think that's probably where the game wants me to go. But I'm just really not sure. Anyway, let's get back to base and have a good think about all this. Right, we're back at base, and I still haven't really got any idea what to do. I'm hoping something pops up, a radio message or something. We're getting them occasionally. But in the meantime, we need to get ready for this thing. 1.4 metres at the moment. The, um, the prawn suit only goes to 800, so we need to start working on this here. We do have nickel. I keep thinking we don't have nickel, but we do... We do have nickel. We found it in the Lost River. So, uh, Plasteel Ingot. That is a Titanium Ingot and... Blah, 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 blah. Something else. I can't remember. Titanium and Lithium. That's fine. So, let's get a couple of Lithium. Um, ro -lo 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 -lo, lithium. Lithium. There we go. I think I might just put a few away. Uh, lithium. Let's put those ion things back. Cause we don't need those just yet. Although, oh, we've got uh, we've got more purple tablets. We're gonna take those with us. I, should, I knew I should have checked there. I sat and made one instead of picking one up before. Never mind. We'll use those next time we go out. We'll take them with us just in case. So I oh no, I think we need to do a plasteel ingot, um, which we can do with titanium ingot. We've got lots of titanium. I always go and get some of that before I start a video because you never know how much you're going to need. And a plasteel ingot, there we go. Rubies and diamonds, I think it said the other thing was. Advanced. Oh, we can then make hydrochloric acid and pro la 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 la. We need to go and get them deep shrooms planted because we've only got two of them. Um, let me just check here. Uh, blueprints for here. Vehicle upgrades. Prawn suit. Yeah, we're going to do that as well. Grappling arm there. Benzene. We've got everything we need for that, I think. Where is the good one? Cyclops upgrades. No, none of you are what I want. Quilted double bed. Ooh. Double bed with the beautiful grey linen quilt. It uses the exact same materials. I think it just looks different, doesn't it? Um, where are the... Cyclops modules here. Why can't I see them anywhere? 
Oh, I wish my memory was better than the forgetfulness of forgetting the name of something 40 seconds after I look at it. Let's have a look. Prawn suit modules, depth one, nickel and ruby. Okay, three nickels, two rubies. We should have those no problem, because we always grab a few uh, rubies when we see them, because uh, I've got it in my head that they're rare. Um, one, two, three nickel. Rubies will be over here in gems. Uh, oh, we've got a few. Not loads, though, actually. Not huge. That'll give us the Mark 1 depth. Hi, hello. Are you meant to be in here? Don't think so. Let's put you back in the water. Oh, can't. I can never put you back in the water. Can I drop you and put you in? There you go. I'm a nice guy. If I need to eat them, I will, but otherwise, I'm, I'm good to fish. I'm like Aquaman. Uh, death one. Cool. So, this will give us probably like to 1100, I guess. I mean, I'm not expecting loads. Um, oh, no, we just drop you in, don't we? Now, we annoyingly can't do it here. We have to get in the prawn suit, drop down to the ground, get out. And then we can and then we can access them. Okay, so prawn suit depth module, uh, thirteen hundred. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, I wonder what um, I wonder what we need to make the next module. We might as well try and get it up to like fifteen hundred because I don't want to keep it that close to the finish. You know, a bit of bit of breathing room as is. So let's go and check out the modification station and have a look what we're going to need to do the next one up. Um, really should start building a few more fabricators and modification stations around the place, but I quite like them all having their spot, you know? This is in the lab here, it makes sense. Pin upgrades, swim charge fins, wireless charges your handheld tool while you swim. That sounds quite useful. Um, exosuit upgrades, Mark II, there we go. Kyanite, yeah, I don't... I think if we have Kyanite, we've got like one of them that we've just randomly picked up from a um, a time capsule, I think. Yeah. Heat resistant crystal. Ah, so that probably means we're going to get them from the place we're going to go to in a minute. Okay, well, let's say in a minute, whenever we figure stuff out. Uh, so that's that. Let's look at building the arm then. Um, blueprints. What, the, uh, the, 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 the jumpy arm. Jumpy arm. That one. Grappling arm. Benzanine, advanced wiring kit, lithium and titanium. Benzanine? Which one's that? Is that the blood one? Benzanine is blood oil. No problem. Should have a good few blood oils now, because we've got a little farm of them over here. But the other thing we want to do as well is plant these deep mushrooms, get them growing for the other things. So, let's... Uh, let's... Yeah, I'll tell you what we're going to do, because we really don't need two of these. Let's... Oh, good. Okay, didn't want to do that, but whatever. He's planted. Can we can we get rid of you? Is it just a hack and slashy job? Yeah, so five hits of you. Inventory full. I don't care the inventory's full, I just want you to go. Will you still go, even if the inventory's full? Yes. Okay. Because we planted loads of these, because here's me thinking early on in the game that these were going to be the most important things ever. Whereas actual facts, we've used them like once. Can you farty balls go away, please? Thank you. There we go. So we'll do this. There we go. And now we'll use the planter and we'll put our deep shrooms in there. And we can... Use the planter. And when they grow, we'll get some more. Okay, cool. So they're going. Uh, blood oil is down here. But the inventory's full. I want to get rid of all this old creep vine sample that we don't need. I um, think it's going to make us ill. I don't know. Food too. Eh, might as well eat it then. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. Need some water. But we've got plenty of that in the base. Okay, so let's get some blood vine. Uh, pick up blood vine, pick up blood oil, pick up blood oil, there we go. That'll make us some sexy benzene. And 
I think it just said one, didn't it? I hope it said one. Let's have a little drink while we're here. And benzene, there we go. Awesome. Uh, little drinky poo. There we go. Oh, still, I can't remember what the other thing was again. Let's have a go back and look. It's got such an awful memory for stuff like this. Two, five titanium, no problem. A lithium and an advanced wiring kit. That's the one that's copper and all sorts, isn't it? Let's have a look. Two silver, wiring kit and a computer chip. Computer chip. Right, give me a minute. I'll get this made up. Okay, here we go. Grappling arm. We should be able to do now. Uh, prawn suit grappling arm. Awesome. And we can go and put that in. And that means we can just get about a bit easier. Because I'll be honest with you. I don't like the fact that I have to use the prawn suit. I love my little sea sparrow. I think it's awesome. And I find this thing about as clunky as um, a, a bum. So, yeah. Clunky bum. So I really don't like having to use it. So anything that makes it easier for us to use. Like that. It's going to go down very well. Oh, we still got a cuttlefish egg to go and throw in, haven't we? Okay. So we're getting all prepped. Whoops. Let's prawn. So how do we use... Oh, yeah. Left clicking it. So we'll give it a go. See if it works. Oh. Oh, that's pretty neat, actually. Okay. That almost makes it usable. I mean, it's still a little funky. Let's um, quickly... I mean, I've, this, again, it's probably going to be a long video. I'm going to quickly have a look at the jumpsuit jet upgrade. Crystalline sulfur. I think we have that. We're going to need to get some more titanium, but I think we have crystalline sulfur. I, I definitely know the name. Whether or not I've picked any up, I don't know. And if I have, I will have no idea where it is. Uh, alien? No. Let's get rid of our plants on us, because they're, they're, uh, they're quite useful. Crystalline sulfur. Gems? Crystalline sulfur, yes. I thought we did. Okay, what, else, what was the other thing we needed? Uh, nickel and lithium. Okay, so nickel is over here. Lithium is over here. Titanium, we will have to go and get, I think. We'll take that one. We'll go and get some metal pieces and turn them into titanium. Back in a jiffy. Okay, we've got some of the old uh, titanium. So I should be able to make one of these jet upgrades as well. Let's have a look. Yeah. Hopefully that makes us jump quicker or last longer, I, I guess. I'm not sure. We'll try and stick it in. <laughs> so the actress to the bishop. Um, here we go. Drop down. Boof. Jump out. So let's just have a. I want to. I want to see. I want to see what it does. So let's have a look. At the moment, we move that fast. Okay. Let's uh, let's see if this made a difference then. Access its upgrades. Come on then. Okay, yeah, but it's much quicker. So that's good. That was worth doing. So our prawn suit is prepped for heading out to wherever it is we need to go. <laughs> Answers on a postcode, please. Don't just tell me where to go, though. I want the game to tell me where to go, which at the moment it isn't, well, other than saying volcanic. But I've not seen anything volcanic other than a few heat, uh, heat blobs. So, yeah, really not sure what to do next. Anyway, I've still enjoyed myself. I'm really loving this game. Um... It's not the sort of thing I would normally play, I'll be honest with you, other than this base crafting thing. Uh, otherwise, you know, it's it's not... But the, the story's got me, man. I want to know what's going on. I want to know why my hands are all green. Uh, I hope you guys do as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. And if you fancy chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at Shanti Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link in the description. And uh, I've got to try and remember how to, put a, how to get down here and put a little cuddlefish in, which I will do. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you in the next one.